You know what other lips are very soft and warm? You know, I thought I'd never see the day where I'd be this horny over a man. And you know, who's the unlucky guy? Uh, but what if I told you it was the wizard from Stardew Valley? Yes, yes, the wizard. No, no, not, not that wizard, but this wizard. One day I was just scrolling through Nexus mods to see what fun mods I can play and then I stumbled across this gorgeous pixelated man. Somebody had made a Tsundere Rasmodius Senpai mod and in this video I wanted to show you guys how our love story pans out. It was honestly so difficult to focus on what he was saying because this man was so magical, no pun intended, but I somehow and surprisingly made it past the introduction without sounding like a tea kettle, but he showed us his wizardry abilities and then I proceeded to start trying to riz him up. We're just gonna get him up to a green part so we can just see how his dialogue changes. And of course, this wouldn't be a baby run without me bombing the entire farm. But I don't care what anybody says, deforestation is an essential part of the game. And after killing a bunch of trees, I finally get to my first heart event. Flaw? Oh, ah, first heart event! Good morning, baby. Power from my tower coming from this area, so I've come to investigate. The source of this magic appears to be the heart of this large tree. It is the oldest tree in this forest. It seems that all the magic is gathering here. Hey, wait! Careful! The rain made the road slippery and caused you to fall- Oh my god, is he going to carry me like a princess? Oh my god! No, he did not. But I was blessed with something much better. We ended up... Kissing the wizard! <laughs> wait, did I accidentally kiss him? <laughs> Two of you fall into an awkward silence. Should you say something? <laughs> Benny, stop being so giddy. Stop. Oh my god, that's making me blush. What if it did we just blush? What are you even asking, Bet? Of course, that was an accident. Hey, don't come any closer. Yeah. <laughs> Forget this ever happened. If you ever speak of this again, I won't hesitate to erase your memory. That is all. Goodbye. Dude, he ran away after kissing me! I mean, that's not very different from my past exes, but... But you know what, whatever, I'll let it go, because I know he's a little shy. I mean, I have been thinking about it, but can I be honest about it? <laughs> yes, I told you not to bring it up again, but um... I guess our brief kiss had left quite an impression on him, so he actually allowed us access to his basement. You wanna make a different kind of mess? <laughs> in a different room in your house? You know, one that comes with, um... Pillows and, and bed sheets. As a future wifey, I thought that I would get started on my household duty such as deforestation as well as upgrading the house with one with a kitchen. Not because I cook, but so I could watch him stand and be cute in the kitchen. And of course this wouldn't be Stardew Valley if I didn't absolutely motherfucking stomp these kids in the egg hunt. That's right, I got 10 eggs. Vincent and Jazz were never gonna win to begin with, but this was a personal fuck you to Abigail. Actually, I retract my statement because uh, Abigail fans are Kind of scary. Anyways, this was around the time when I started regularly checking the wizard's dialogue to see if it'll change with the hearts, but unfortunately that was not the case. But that's okay, as so long as he stands there, I'll drool. He's still so sexy. I felt like I feel like it's been eons since we last saw him and my heart was just yearning for him. It's time. I wish he would just pay a little bit more attention to me though, please. Oh, look at me pining for his attention. <laughs> Didn't I tell you not to come close last time? Why are you circling me? What do you want? Oh my god, he's tundere. You say you're interested in my research? To my observations of you, your qualifications aren't utterly abysmal. Therefore, I could consider making you my assistant. Before you are fully accepted, you must first complete a task for me. And that is to bring me the hard to acquire ghost fish. You know, wizard. I also have a couple tricks up my sleeve as well. I know you can spawn things out of nowhere, but so can I. I have something called... Cheats. With my cheats produced ghost fish, the wizard proceeded to make a potion of some sorts. I was hoping that it was a love potion, but uh, I was proven wrong. 
And kids don't do this. No matter how sexy a strange man is, if he is proclaiming magical powers, you probably shouldn't drink anything he gives you. Unfortunately, I'm weak to sexy 2D men, so I ended up drinking it and passing out. I woke up. Bevy, you're finally awake. Potion was supposed to allow you to energize you a hundred times over, but I must have made a mistake somewhere and as a result you fainted. I won't allow myself to make such a grave mistake again. Should I have drank that suspicious potion? Probably not, but do I regret anything? No! He's blushing, look how cute he is! And he's taking care of me personally in his room, in his bed? Aww. <laughs> this is so cute. My little assistant! <laughs> And just when I thought that Rasmodius couldn't get any hotter, I stumbled across this heart event. Hmm? Bevy? I apologize, I was too engrossed and didn't see you. Do you often make a habit of secretly watching people for long periods of time? Yes, in fact, I've done that for a while with our good, good friendly uh, Sebi. Uh, I like to watch him at 6am in the morning. Just sleep. Although, about this hair problem, do you think I should cut it short? Help you tie it up instead. <gasps> okay, I'd love to say you'd be handsome even if you were bald, but I would love seeing the wizard with his hair tied up. <laughs> I want to see his hair tied. What? Oh, he's blushing! You, you say you want to help me tie my hair? I mean, Rasmodius, I can also tie my hair for other things. <laughs> no, 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 no. If he's gonna play hard to get, we're also gonna play hard to get. Hmm, what you say makes sense. <laughs> then, if it isn't any trouble, <laughs> He looks so dapper! <laughs> hmm, with this, my hair shouldn't fall out anymore. I've always done research by myself, but now I can understand the use of an assistant. Then, um, I will have to continue to trouble you in the future. I hope your next trouble is to find a different top for you because, um, I think we need to upgrade to a v-neck black top. <laughs> Hi. You're so dreamy. Oh, it's already 6.50 a.m.? I've been busy with research since last night. I should meditate to restore my strength. No, mages do not need rest. He said he doesn't need rest. I feel like he's trying to tell me something different. I think this mod knew that I needed to calm down from the spicy encounters with Rasmodius, so we got a more heartfelt event where we find out more about his past. So this version of Rasmodius actually has a more tragic backstory in comparison to the original game. His father was an abusive man who took advantage of his mother by not telling her that he was actually married in order to produce a really powerful heir like Rasmodius. After Rasmodius was born, his father quickly left the mother and attempted to take Rasmodius back by force. Your father's story is very different from mine. I think I just killed off my children and sold them to the witch. For eight years, Rasmodius and his mother ran away over and over and over again so his father wouldn't find them. But these efforts were fruitless as he had to go back to his father in order to receive care for his mother's terminal illness that he discovered at age 8. This experience made him quite neurotic about people. That is, until he met you. I am two-faced and selfish, but um, the save file is specifically for you. <laughs> this heart event ends with him expressing his desires to make more friends in Pelican Town and asking you for your help in doing so. Oh, he's blushing! He expresses that he trusts your judgment and wishes to acquaint himself with your friends. I'll kill them if they come near you. I'm joking. Or was that a joke? Two of the first people that you introduce the wizard to end up being Vincent and Jazz who stumble across the sewers. They hear monster noises and you help them seek answers from the wizard. Oh my god, we're having a little picnic together like a family! Who's the cool guy next to you? My future husband? So the children get acquainted with the wizard under the impression that he's your boyfriend. And I swear to god, I don't really like kids in Pelican Town, but this is the first time I actually am very grateful to Vincent. <laughs> Just look. Vincent, you cheeky bastard! I... well, that's... Auntie Marnie said you're a wizard. Wizard? So that means you can use cool magic? Um, that'd be bestiality. 
Vincent. Of course I could. Look there! That's bestiality! Out of all the things that he could have turned me into, he chose to turn me into a goddamn chicken. You're supposed to fall in love with me, not Shane. After turning me into a goddamn chicken, he continues to hang out with Jazz and Vincent to show them more magic and tells Vincent that he actually has less affinity with magic than Jazz. Vincent was not very happy about that because he wanted to learn magic in order to impress his crush, Miss Penny. And with this great timing, I stumble across the three of them and he turns extremely red. Who would have thought that a glob of pixels blushing would be so cute? Yo, he's leaving me again! He's running away from me again like the rest of the men in my life! Sorry. That's none of your business. No, no wait, if I think about it, this has a lot to do with you in particular. And on one fine morning, I wake up to a welcoming invitation to the forest at 8pm with Phrasmodius. But before our little romantic rendezvous, I thought it wouldn't hurt to flirt with him a little. Guys, he's making me blush! So we met up with Rasmodius at 8 p.m. on the same day, and he had a couple of things to say to us. Wow, I, I wonder what this Ten Heart event might might be about. Vincent, we don't have- <laughs> Oh my god, can you not ruin this moment? <laughs> After that lovely interruption, Rasmodius thanks us for everything that we've done for him and proceeds to ask us to ask him of a wish. Money, status, a kiss from you. I think it's pretty obvious the choice that I'm about to make. <laughs> Look at these pixels blushing! Aww. If that is your wish... be an accident our first proper kiss would you mind if we did that again oh my god who knew rasmodius would be so adorable i'm i feel like i am inside a shoujo anime right now <laughs> oh wait i was saying that wait no he was saying that yeah he was saying that <laughs> my head is in shambles right now this is so cute for, but your lips are very soft and warm indeed. You know what other lips are very soft and warm? Okay, baby. Well, it's time to ask him to be our boyfriend and he happily accepts. And soon after we start dating, he pulled us aside to tell us his rendition of how we first met. Baby, do you still remember our first meeting? Yeah, I do. I accidentally toppled on top of you and kissed you. And turns out this man could see the future. Before Grandpa even went six feet under, Rasmodius knew we were coming. That's so romantic, oh my god! And this time, he fully prepared as to what to say to us. I love you. Oh my god! Why do I feel like I'm getting confessed to in real life? Couldn't imagine ever saying such words at the time, vision or not. I didn't know what love was and scoffed at the notion of it. Spending time with you, thinking of you, simply spending every day by your side. Soon my mind was filled with more than visions of you, was filled with the thoughts of your smile, your laugh, the way you bring light to my life. <laughs> oh my god, stop ruining my moment! And I'm an alpha woman, so I'm going to confess to him first. So I grabbed his sexy face and kissed him! And he kissed me back. <laughs> Aww, that's so sweet. Fool, don't interrupt me. Did you thought it wouldn't get any more romantic than this? I love you. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is so cute! This is the best mod I've ever done! Oh my god! Best mod to exist. Lord. I haven't felt this way in a really long time and it's very overwhelming right now. So is this what it's like to be in love? God, it's so weird. Like, I'm not joking. I can actually feel my heart palpitating right now. All this over a fucking NPC. And I know we just started dating him, but after that speech, I just, I just had to propose. This, this is, this mod is making you guys like blush, right? It's not just me. It's making you blush, right? I'm, I'm blushing. I am, I am having dirty thoughts in my head right now. <laughs> He's so handsome! But I hate Lewis with a passion and I would really rather him not officiate our marriage, but we have no other choice, so uh, let's just enjoy the sweet moment. Oh! Wait, he leans down because he's too tall, 
also he leans down to kiss you. That's so cute! You would think the love story would end here, but it doesn't. The heart events that occur after you marry Rasmodius only unlocks when you have met Krobus. Imagine if they have a sexy Linus mod. But calm down, baby. I could literally smell your dirty thoughts. And with that, we unlock our first post-marriage event where the wizard is explaining to Krobus how relationships work. Not to mention, she's my other half. Ah! Other half? Did you cut your soul into two? Bit awkward, I would say, but Rasmodius had to explain to Krobus how we tango in bed. I thought we just kissed, but I guess not, seeing the way he's blushing. Silence, I'm not with baby just for that. <laughs> Krobus, listen. We humans not only come together to reproduce, but because we love each other. Just like how I love void mayonnaise. Krobus is so cute. I like the bitter taste of void mayonnaise, so what do you both like about each other? <laughs> it's like talking to a child, like our newborn baby. Ahem, I think I can answer this. What I like about Bevy, I like it when they're annoying, when they have to tiptoe to kiss me, and how their smile melts my heart. When was the wizard this romantic? You're completely different from the wizard of the past, how scary! <laughs> it's your turn. I'm curious as to what you'll say. Wait, no. What I meant to say is, since Krobus is so curious, why don't you tell him what you like about me, baby? I like that you're unexpectedly kind-hearted, very frank, slightly spoiled, and proud. They're all kind of jabs. <laughs> huh. Unexpectedly kind, stubborn and frank, but also a little prideful. You say you like all three of these and can't choose. Hang on, are you making fun of me? I'll have you know that the consequences for teasing me aren't to be taken lightly. But he's smiling and blushing and saying that so I'm... Oh, am I gonna get punishment? Huh. Oh, he is gonna punish me! <laughs> well, I'm guessing that punishment was really good considering how many gifts I'm showering him with. What are you staring at? Why is there nothing in your room? And then we got invited to our first outing as a couple by Mayor Lewis. But before that, let's get dirty. I'm meditating to replenish my stamina. Well, since last night, well... We won't. I happen to use up a lot of energy then. That, that's all. <laughs> anyway, we got to the party and look how cute he looks. Fuck off, Lewis, before I smack the back of your head. Shy, dance and relax with everyone. Bebby, if it wasn't for you, I would never participate in something like this in a million years. You know I'm not very good with situations that involve so many people and... The wizard takes both your hands and squeezes them lightly. All these people around, how could I, um, <clears throat> kiss you? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, I feel like the main character of a shoujo manga. <laughs> I think I've had an idea. <gasps> he stopped time for us so we can have a romantic moment. Oh my goodness! <laughs> It'll only last for a minute before going back to normal, but that means that I'll have one more minute more than anyone else in this world to love you with. Oh my god, that's so cute! He stops time so he can kiss us. That's so cute! <laughs> I have never had this kind of romance be directed to me online and in real life, so I- I don't think I'm handling this, like, I'm, I don't think I'm processing this like I usually would. And after three fruitful days of being married, we get our first gift from Rasmodius, which is a star drop that reminds us of larceny. Honey, I wanted to give you that fruit as a symbol of my love. He calls me honey! That's adorable! Y'all think it's gonna end on that level of sweetness? Fuck no. Rasmodius catches us playing games with two of our ex-husbands from different save files and the neighborhood kid. I would say Rasmodius is not having a very pleasant time. 
Yo, I know he's mad and all, but like, why he's so sexy when he's mad? Why mad when sexy? But dude, he ran away from me for the third time! So why does that gentleman look so angry over there? Is he jealous? Oh, oh be still my heart. Well, I had to go comfort our Tsundere Rasmodia senpai. I'm not angry. I know that these are just your friends. It's just that whether it's the kids or old grannies, you always call everyone by their first name, whereas I... <clears throat> What I'm trying to say is, now that we're married, you should call me by my name. Rasmodius is a bit difficult to say in bed. Or do you have something else in mind for the both of us? Then I'll call you... Love. I love love. Hmm, very good. Aww, he's satisfied. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> After that whole fiasco, I thought I would return home to quite a relaxing day, but Rasmodius had other things in mind. Baby. Oh! Oh my goodness, I got jumped! <laughs> oh, he is freaky! Loading? Why so surprised, baby? Here, let me give you a little audio representation of what's going on behind this loading screen. from this run through oh it is it is a bug um but you know what i'm kind of okay with this bug because i think our sexy night <laughs> is just taking a really long long time be still my heart thank you guys for joining <laughs> i will catch you guys tomorrow